like I said, in Brookfield, with all the incentives that you're being offered, you know, we saw a system, a $31,000 system can be put in for about $13,000. Think about that. For $13,000, you could be generating your own electricity. Your payback is going to be about six years, and you know what? All the profit from then on is yours. And with a 25-year warranty on the panels, you're going to be putting money in your pocket for a long time. And like I said, with the little girl, that's her college education right there. The parents had the wherewithal and the foresight to say, hey, let's take advantage of this opportunity. But in Brookfield, you have even a bigger opportunity because of the incentives. So that's why, guys, you only have until September 30th. All right, now, the next clip is going to be, it's really investing in your home. And when you watch this clip, I want you to notice how nice the panels look on most of the houses. And you're going to see five or six different houses. And watch what they're doing in Massachusetts. And some of the solar wrecks, you know, remember from one of the other shows where we showed you the solar wrecks, it's a little bit different in Massachusetts, but you'll get the whole flavor of the idea, and you'll be able to see what other people are doing and how their communities and themselves, how they're benefiting from a gift from the sun, solar power. John, hit it. The sun, our ultimate source of life and energy, it's estimated that every hour enough solar energy reaches the Earth's surface to power the entire planet for a year. Today, many Massachusetts residents are investing in solar, and for a wide range of reasons. Every bit of the electricity that's produced is either we're using it or we're sending it back to Instar. We're reducing our carbon footprint from this. My wife and I um, have wanted to uh, you know, take the right steps for the planet. We need to get off oil very important for us not to be dependent on oil, and we have the means to do it. Massachusetts, like the other New England and Northeast states, uh, is at the end of the energy pipeline, the natural gas pipeline. We don't have the type of indigenous fuel sources that other states can benefit from. And so it's important for us to look at a diversified uh, fuel strategy. And renewable energy, along with other fuel sources, are important for Massachusetts energy needs. Uh, in addition, uh, Massachusetts has uh, very strong greenhouse gas reduction goals, environmental goals. And so renewable energy and solar PV as a technology helps us meet our overall goals. They work year round. They're um, actually pretty productive in the spring and in the fall, even though it's colder, because the transistors, from what I understand, actually function better in the cooler weather than they do in the warmer weather. The solar panels work more efficiently when they're colder. They have what's called a negative temperature coefficient that just means on hot, sunny days, they're less efficient, and on cold, sunny days, they're more efficient. Today, so far, we've produced 5.25 kilowatt hours of electricity, and it's, what, only uh, uh, 1140 or so. So we're doing pretty well. If you look at the um, chart below, you can see this is yesterday, as it started to get later in the day, um, last night, and now the panels are beginning to produce again. So if I look at any point on the uh, line, for example, that's 8, 10 in the morning. Uh, and if I look up here, it's just about now. Well, actually, it's, it's a half an hour behind. So I can follow the production of my electricity. But what makes a home a good candidate for solar panels? And what factors should be taken into consideration? Uh, this house has a great southern exposure. It has very little shading and it's at the optimal angle, which is around 35 to 40 degrees. It makes it great for solar. And so I'm looking at the surrounding buildings and trees and what might shade uh, the, the roof, if it's shaded at all. I'm also looking at the access to the roof, you know, because a uh, big part of the job is the physical part of putting the panels up there. And how, how are we going to get up and do that? How are we going to stage the job? I got it. Where will we, you know, have the electric run down to the basement? Um, so there's, there's roof work. There's examining the structure of the rafters, make sure uh, the, the building is structurally sufficient to put solar panels on. Then you also take a look at uh, the utility room 
where the electric panel is, what kind of service does the house have, um, are there open breakers in the electrical pa electric panel that we can use, um, things like that. While the upfront expenses may seem steep at first, there are a number of incentives to help defray the costs. 